Hi everybody, my name is Ray. Today I'm at the Riker Hill Art Park in Livingston, New Jersey. Now this site used to be a former Nike missile radar installation. They turned it into an art park. So we're gonna go take a walk around, take a look at the art on display, and see if we can find any remnants of the old missile base. Come with me. Okay, so the first piece of art we see here is this one. Looks like it's made out of steel. You can kind of see some of the rust poking through. Gives it an interesting sort of a weathered look. And we have these twisted figures. And you can think of them what you will. Are they letters? Do they represent human bodies in motion? I'm not an art expert, but I do love to see art when it's, uh, especially when it's out in, in the open. So now, I don't see any information on this piece. I don't see a name or an artist, so I wish I could give you that information. Uh, maybe further down in the park, I'll find something else out, and I'll let you know. But this is really cool. I really like this. And I have to wonder if any of this material used to make this piece of art was something left over from the missile base. Really cool. So the next piece of art on display is this one. Looks like some interesting geometric figures. Again, looks like it's made out of steel, or some sort of metal. Just take a walk around this thing, see it from every angle. Pretty cool. And over here, looking at these stones, I noticed that they're not actually natural stones. They're some sort of uh, plaster mold. And you can see they have kind of like a, a dappled texture on top. So these must have been some sort of piece of art here. I don't know if it's incomplete or falling apart or if it just is what it is. And here it looks a little overgrown, but we have another piece. It's these iron girders painted red. We have another one standing up behind these two. Pretty interesting. Looks like we got some softballs nailed to the tree. Down here we got a couple more. I'm not really sure what that's about, but it's here. The Nike missile air defense system was built in the 1950s to defend the United States against any sort of nuclear attack. Um, this spot had radar installations built on it because it was at such a high elevation. Um, right behind me is one of them. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, so here we have the platform. I guess up there would have been the radar installation. Let's go take a walk around this thing. See this metal, how rusted through it is at this point. Look at that.
pretty amazing that this is still here. This panel gives you more information on the history of the base and its development into an art park. You can pause the video here if you want to read this. And just on the other side of the road, we have a second radar platform. Let's go take a look at this one. Still have the stairs leading down to it. And now this one has a chain link fence around it. The other one didn't have that. Look at this metal. You have this concrete base and up top the platform. Now, unfortunately, I can't go on top of it. I would love to, but they don't have any sort of stairs or ladders remaining. And look at how solid this is. You don't see any major cracking or crumbling on this. It's in remarkably good shape. This is pretty amazing. So now over here we have the next piece of art on display. And I believe this one is called Whale Tails. You can sort of see the representation of whale's tails on the ends of these hook shapes. Sort of, um, you know, like a whale coming out of the water, how you would just see the tail. And it's incredibly large. It's got to be at least 20, 30 feet. And it looks like it's made out of um, steel, just like the other ones here. And now, to me, they look more like fish hooks than whales' tails. But maybe that was intentional. So now the original buildings on the base have been turned into art studios and they've all been painted in these bright colors. So now I don't know if this is a piece of art or if this is just an old ventilation unit, but I think it's really cool looking. So this building here, which is now an art studio, painted bright blue. We can still see some remnants of when it was a military base. And see, these were buildings from when it was a base. And now they're art studios, all painted in vibrant colors. Pretty cool to see. All right, so now we have these uh, steel track rings on the ground here. Now, I am not entirely certain how these were used, so if you have more insight on this, please leave a comment down below. Help me out here. Let me know what these things are. And just right up on this hill here, we have another one of these metal rings. This one is overgrown. Got trees growing out of the center now. Pretty cool. And here we can see a third metal ring.
Now back here, we have this platform, which is just incredible. Just look at this thing. Wow. It's just so cool to be standing in front of this thing. Just uh, a radar system from the 1950s, just totally run down and being reclaimed by nature. It's just some, like, something straight out of the apocalypse. It's so cool. So that was the Riker Hill Art Park in Livingston, New Jersey. Really cool, unique place. You got history, you got art. Definitely come check it out if you're nearby. My name is Ray, my channel is Ray out there. If you like this video, please hit subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.